Maybe it's egged on by the recession. You know, too many people out of work with maybe too much time on their hands. New York cops once again trying to crack down on this. Now a growing number of dirt bike riders pulling wheelies, causing chaos in New York City. A risky blast perhaps for them, but for so many else, so many people, dangerous and frightening situations. of street bikes and four-wheel ATVs illegally cruising through the streets of Upper Manhattan and the Bronx. It was an absolute free-for-all of wheelies along the Grand Concourse. The reckless driving continued into a park at the entrance of the Machalu Parkway, where one biker left his mark on the moist grass. Police are certainly aware of what's going on. Eyewitness News has tagged along as NYPD aviation units monitor the dangerous driving from above, while officers on the ground corral the often unregistered street bikes. Police also make it abundantly clear what happens to confiscated dirt bikes and quads. They meet their demise on the business end of a bulldozer. I see them doing a lot of dangerous stunts, and they're very, very scary, and also create other accidents. They're, you know, popping wheelies and doing tricks, and it just doesn't seem like the smartest thing to be doing on a city street. We do not tolerate these illegal and dangerous vehicles driving recklessly, ignoring traffic signals, blocking traffic, driving on sidewalks and racing up and down New York City streets causing danger to New York. Oh, you want to sit with me? Okay, really quick, just before they start. And then you gotta sit at the table, okay? Okay. Um, my name is Kenny. I was born and raised in Manhattan, New York. Um, I'm from the Dominican Republic, although I've never been there. Um, my father's from there, my mom was born here. So I basically live my life in Manhattan. And uh, I've been living in Staten Island for the past 11 years. And my oldest daughter is from previous relationship, but I raised her. Had two kids with my wife here. I know she's thinking, oh God, I'm so worried he's gonna get hurt one day doing what he's doing. Of course she sees my Instagram and she tries not to look at when I'm doing stuff like that. So, but uh, she's, I know she's not okay with me doing it. Without a doubt, everybody that looks at, at it as a, I don't know what you want to call it, but as a bad thing. You know it is, but a lot of people don't know the other side of the story. This is this is my alcohol right here. So it's like, it's the same concept. It's like you, if you're a drinker. You know, I might look at you a different way. I might look at you in a bad way, but this is how I get my eye. You look at me as I'm a person that just doesn't care and I'm riding around like a lunatic however I want. But, you know, I, I don't look at you that way if you're an alcoholic, so to speak, you know, it's just my getaway. I don't, I don't have therapy in my life, you know, that I can spend money on and, 
and talk to somebody. I'm not a big talker. And motorcycling and stunt riding was, was the only way to, to focus my, my, I don't know, it was just that madness everywhere, you know? It was that only calm that told me to shut up and focus. And it was more intense with the stunt riding aspect because of it. It was more because if you fuck up, you're, you're gonna fuck your shit up and you're gonna probably like, you know, break a limb or scratch yourself. So uh, my name's X and uh, I've been, uh, I've been intrigued with stunt riding for a couple years now. It was, it was around like 2000, 2017 when I really started. I, I saw, I saw this Grom on, on the dealership floor. It was, it was bright green, had to have it. I don't know what the hell it was. It was the kid in me. I snagged it a couple weeks later. I, I go through Facebook. I link up with everyone I know and we get like this small little group together. I meet my boy and he, he introduced me to the real stunt riders in Patterson and show me all the hood and all that stuff. And I'm a white boy, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not supposed to be there, but I don't know, something clicked and I don't know, I guess it was just the, it was the adrenaline aspect of it. It was, it was weird, it was like, you getting away with breaking the law, but you're still with your friends, you know, having fun. It's it's a weird mixture of emotions and everything going on. I only said, I don't know what bike life is as a sarcastic way. You see what I'm saying? I've been racing pedal bikes my whole life, you feel me? I started out back in the days on this. Then I went to that. I, I didn't just jump on that and start saying, yo, I'm outside. And that was secondary to this. So, if you ask somebody, um, you know, what's being a wrestler, I don't know. I guess they always woke up working out, huh? I'm going to be the best. This the bike life was like, yo, listen, when I don't want to smack the shit out somebody, somebody get on my nerves, or our school was bad. You ain't got no job sometimes, and you just stress the fuck out, and you look at your bike, and then you and the bike go, and y'all just start, and you, just, you know, you riding first, feel a little wind, you do a little, ooh, you felt good right there? That's where it kicked. It's like, oh, we feel good right now. So you ride down the street, you probably see people in Bentleys and having birthday parties and bam, bam, all that shit going on. You just lift your bike up, bam, go on, fuck up. You just in your own mode. So bike life is like being one with yourself, for real, if you ever ask. I don't know if every other sports are like, it's like being one with yourself. Cause you know you at the moment, you at the moment you're doing everything on the bike, you actually challenging yourself. And you in the air like, oh shit. It's not like a, I don't know if it's like a guy who's swimming in the middle of an ocean and like he could catch a cramp or a shark could come eat him or whatever. But you know, when you're on that bike, it's always like, you coasting, but you know the danger. You like in a danger zone, but you like, cause that's how life is. You always in danger. You, go, you know, you come out your house, you go to the store, trying to buy a sandwich, you hit, Oh, see, you got to duck down, you're going on the block, somebody trying to rob you, you go in your house, get in, somebody that ate your shit out the fridge, you see what I'm saying? It's like, all, everything in your life is risky, so when you're on a bike, it's like, you're still in that, but you have some control there. So now you're like, oh, I'm playing with the danger, oh, they can't fuck with me. Oh, 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 you start doing all this wild shit. Uh, 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 uh. And then it becomes a thing. Now when you're off the bike, you're like, yo, what you about? And he was like, yo, you know what I'm about, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't gotta, you know? So that's what the definition comes in, at, you know? To tell you the truth, I, I literally travel like almost close to an hour, two hours away just to practice in a lot that we don't get bothered in. We don't have any issues with. But unfortunately, some lots get blown within like a couple months. If you're lucky, you know the owner, but it ain't a big enough strip to actually have fun with friends. So the lots, the lots pop up in and out of like, you know, different places. So I, I use stun lot, lot riding for um, basically perfecting my tricks. On the street, I put in my work. 
that like you know I, I, I learn on the the pavement and lot in the street I put in my work so a lot of these lot riders don't progress because they don't like the danger aspect of traffic all that stuff the it's like safety there but street riding is is like a different high you know I, I've crashed multiple times it's 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 all part of the the life it really is but every time I crash my bike I've I've picked my bike up no matter what it's it's a thing it's like you're, you're, you're crazy but it's just if you don't pick that bike up that you're never going to be riding again like you used to you know I was trying a new trick and I ain't been riding in a few weeks so I didn't know the feel I didn't have the feel for it so I came back a little bit too much and my quad turned and when it came to fall it landed on me this happened like two weeks ago but I'm still back out here. It's, it don't stop nothing. Bike life, you love it, you gonna keep doing it. There's a lot of people who look down on me and say, well, you should do more things and uh, there's a whole lot of more tricks that you can do. I'm 32 years old already. I don't think I should try anything more, you know? I got a family to take care of, you know? I can't really go out on injury for like three to four weeks because I'm trying something new. I know for a fact that I'm not gonna fall doing what I'm doing because I already know it. So now everybody's in competition you know i could do this or i'm better than you or i could do a really longer than you you know back then it wasn't like that it was more like everybody would clap for you it was always like oh, wow oh and he's nice and he could do this and now it's like i could do better than him you know so it's, it's definitely changed throughout the years so i think bike life in the past couple years have been really uh it's advanced a lot. And I think the people that have come a long way with it have come a long way fast. Uh, I think that the people that just pop out and they're new and they want it, they get it. You could tell, they want it, they're gonna get it. So I think just what Bike Life has done throughout the years has progressed in a way that if you want it and you wanna be a part of it in the right way, it's gonna happen. If you want it for the wrong reasons, bike life can take you into the wrong reasons too. We are not going to tolerate these bikes being used on our streets. As you can see, when a four-year-old child is playing in a parking lot and you have people that are racing in a parking lot with these illegal instruments, uh, these, these vehicles, it's dangerous. It's dangerous and something like this uh, will occur. Well, first of all, I'm really against that. I know that once we fucking start jumping on sidewalks trying to avoid fucking traffic, which is the, the time that we try to fucking jump on the sidewalk, it's for no reason, you know what I'm saying? You know what you're gonna hit somebody. That's the bottom line. If y'all if, if got a dip from the cops, that's understandable. But for no fucking reason on the sidewalk, y'all gonna hit somebody. You know what I'm saying? That shit, the kind of came to fuck with us just now. It was because of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all don't have to, don't use them shit. Because yo, I shit you not. If that was my kid in that park, I don't give a fuck if it was my fault or not. That guy hit that fucking kid and kept it moving, yo. Right. I would have hit that kid and I would have stayed there. I would have touched that shit like a man. And I would have avoided the charge the nigga got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, if y'all don't really have to do that shit, don't. Yo, let's try to fucking ride, wheelie, and just keep it safe. And that's all. No, no racing, right? Yeah, yeah, no racing. We're not in the racing. Nobody trying to fly. We're trying to see niggas wheelie. That's what we enjoy the most. Hey, listen. I don't know if y'all heard this, can't really try your best to stay out the front. Try to ride the back. Stay out the way of everybody who's nice putting in work. I know everybody want to be seen on the camera. Just wait your turn. Everybody be patient. There's no dangerous riding. Take your time, find your comfort zone, and go to work. Enjoy your ride, y'all. And it's like people look at bike life and they see the dirt bikes in the street and, and they see the wheelies. And some people love it and some people hate it. It's just kind of that type of culture right now. But I think it's in a way people see it in the wrong way you know you have kids that can't afford uh, dinner you got kids that you know that's all they think about is the dirt bike and it keeps them out of a lot and I think when you see that kid on the street trying to wheelie you should think about him trying to stay out of the block and try to stay out of the the drug life and all that instead of thinking you know this kid should get the fuck off his dirt bike you know it's just things like that you gotta take into consideration but you can't expect everybody to think like that either my venture in life is basically to to be as 
versatile as a motorcycle as I can be. I really want to achieve uh, to, to at least place in a, a stunt competition. I've done my first stunt competition like probably two years ago on the Grom and you know, I, I didn't come in, I wasn't prepared. I, I blame myself, I wasn't prepared. I, I popped up some good tricks, but it wasn't to, to my satisfaction where I, I thought I would play. So this year, I'm, I'm, I, like I said, I've been pushing myself more and more to, to, to actually enter. Like, you know, I, if, even if it's third place, that's cool. That's like an achievement for me. But I work for, with a lot of uh, high-end people and the people that don't appreciate what I do, my, especially my dad, which, is, which hurts me a little bit, but you know, he, he, he doesn't want to see me hurt, which is understandable. I understand it, but I wish he would like, you know, understand like, look how good I am, you know, look how much progression I've done. Like, you know, like not everyone can do this. I don't know what the trick uh, is called, but I, I, I like dancing on the seat. I like jumping on the seat, just bouncing around on the seat. I, it, it was like a Patterson thing with these dirt bikes. They would they would jump on the seat and start dancing, one two steps, whatever. But that was the thing. If I told myself if I could do that, I could really push myself to like other things. And that that's been my favorite. But recently, I like scraping a lot. Yeah, that's that's my thing now. <laughs> uh, what well, is? I just just get it up. Now, if I was on a four wheeler, I can do it all. It don't matter. But on the bike, I'm trying to get both, you know what I'm saying? Next time we link, you're going to see me though. All my bikes will be good then. I don't really feel too comfortable on doing what I do, which my other moves are ballerinas, standing on the seat, on a wheelie. Uh, it's not something that I would constantly do because I'm not as secure as how I am when I'm sitting on the bike. So definitely sitting down would be it. I have certain artists that reach out that we've worked with over the years, you know, and it's just, it's, it's getting bigger and bigger, so more people want more of it. So like, like even when I first started riding five years ago, companies weren't really endorsing it because it was still, they're the bad guys. But now people are starting to see the, the good side to it, not just the bad, you know? But we still have to break through that wall because 90% of the people out there think we're just reckless idiots, but that's not what it is because when we're in a real pack, there's hundreds of us, yeah, they're chasing us, but we stay together and we try not to blow the lights. 90% of the time we're blowing the lights because the police are gonna hit us behind us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which is facts, and I've seen it thousands of times. Every ride that I go to, it happens. You have to be a skilled rider to be able to go out there and come back home safe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're trying to do right here. See, he's the first person to actually make an action towards going in the direction towards a sport with this, because it's a free-for-all in the streets. What we do isn't necessarily illegal, like we said. We also need a place to ride. See, we have to travel how three hours to come out here, right? Yeah, it's, just, it's an awesome experience, but where's where's the spots throughout the whole country that right. everybody can do? Because there's there's major issues with bike life right now. Right. Police, they, they they don't like it. They don't know what to do. They're trying to control it, but they're they're acting in a wrong way. They should they should work with us rather than against us. You know what I'm saying? Benadon, he's amazing. You know, he comes from the hood. And he's regular guy. You know, he did a lot. He has a lot of flaws, but he's doing great things. You know, people hate to see that. People hate to see somebody from the hood win it. But he's also putting in that time, he's putting in that effort. He's going to council unions and, and all types of crazy, you know, places just to make it happen for us. And he's doing it for the bigger picture. He's doing it for the future bike life. And that's what these little kids gotta understand. Man, I was too hot, man. I was hot on the streets. You know what I mean? I pull out on the bike, go into jail, fighting with the police. I'm on the news, I'm on YouTube. Millions of views, I'm getting followed around. Like, yo, what the fuck is this? Yo, I, I, you know, I'm just riding this Sunday. I'm doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? Get my little juice, you know? Gas my bike up, put my little oil and all that. So, um, it just became a problem. So my man, look, real rap, right? Young homie from Harlem hit me up like, yo, uh, yo, they really, they, yo, they on you, man. Yo, I heard from Grapevine, boom, 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 in the precinct, they on you. They trying to get at you. I'm like, what are you talking about? This ain't that serious. Like, nah, this shit's serious, man. They only keep talking about Spider-Man and the bike. Da, 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 da. This is in the beginning. Then it turned into like, damn, I had to research and make sure he was telling the truth. I'm like, yo, this shit really real. And that's how, you know, I started realizing, like, damn, we doing some shit here. Then I caught the case. Boom, beat that, caught the second case. Boom, I'm like, yo, we can't keep doing this. So 
me being an antagonizer and, you know, I'm like, you know what, let me do something else, you know. Let me help these young dudes that's coming up around these bikes. So, let me, you know what, let me figure this shit out. You know, the politicians ain't listening. Fall on deaf ears and all that, keep talking. Hey, knocking on your door. Hey, can I, you know, you know, can I, you know, I need a place to ride. I got a couple young guys there. I'm like, you know, I'm whispering, hello, hello. Next me, I'm, yo, trying to tell you something, man. Next me, I'm kicking the door, bomb, coming in, man, fuck all that, man. We're going to do it like this, boom, boom, boom. And that's how the shit really took off, because I'm like, you know what? Why well, I keep begging people to help do what they already see. They're not going to do shit. They're going to watch you and talk and get on uh, the news. They're going to write papers. They're going to give you interviews, you know what I'm saying? Lights and microphones and sit you up like you're a donkey and all that, like waiting to throw the ball and knock you in the water and shit. So I said, fuck all that. I won't stop doing all that. I'm not doing no more interviews. Don't call me. I just got to the grind. I start thinking. And that's how I came up with the idea. Like, you know what? Yeah, I figured it out. Boom. And I did my first ride, 2017. Got everybody out. That's how I really started. Well, what makes us special here is that nobody can bother us here. This is ours, you know? It's, pay, it's a pay for event, so the cops can't come here and chase us down, or nobody's gonna get hit off a bike. Nobody has to worry about any, any, anything bad happening. I mean, this is a safe way to have fun without police and whatever, you know, everything else going on in the world. You know, we can come here, have fun, barbecue, bring the kids, you know, it's a good place. Cause in the city, where are you going to teach a kid to ride? Even if you bring them to the park on the 50, you know, they might take it, stop, you know, so. Well, we don't get bothered by the police now. It's a time where we all get to come together and just ride safely, freely. And it's a, it's a more of a family thing. We all come together. We don't got to get chased by cops. We ain't got to worry about other people hitting us. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just safety. Riding people, all the people you meet, yo. I, I met so many people from bikes that I never would have known. Never would have known any of these motherfuckers standing around. Any of them. We're going to bring this to TV. This is going to be the newest part of the 20th century. Yes, sir. So you got NASCAR, you have Formula One, you have Supercross, you have Moto, GP, you have all those stuff. Yes, sir. They ride around and ooh. What we doing is we on the wheel with it. You know, what we do with those uh, those bikes there isn't great for the track, but they let us have it. It's basically, Apparently, it's a wheelie event where you have different classes, quads, dirt bikes, motorcycles, and you wheelie the track almost. Who could get through the track with like the wheel up almost? I, I really don't know yet, but once I get there, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably like put myself in just to be a competitor. You know, I just want to like like I'm I know I'm not gonna make it through it because I'm still not at that stage of where I want to be with the FZ, but. With the Grom, I can definitely do the whole thing. That, but it's a cheater bike. You know, they're they're not gonna. The Grom stunts don't count. <laughs> why, it's why? just a feeling. It's just you're passionate for it. You're passionate for it, or you're not, yo. I mean, I don't know. Just the love for it. I grew up with it. You know, and just seeing everybody on the block and everybody wheeling up and down, having a good time. You know. Yo, that's a drug. This is my drug. Every time I'm with my bitch, this is my drug right here. You understand? Like everybody. You know? When you get on your bike, it's your drug right there. And it's all love. I love it. It's for the community. Keep them off the street, man. We out here. It's the adrenaline rush. It's just, it's, it's, it's the rush. It's a, it's a wonderful feeling. Especially in the winter time. In the winter time, when it's cold, that warms you up like this. You, by, by the third and fourth wheelie, you're sweating. And, and the adrenaline's pumping and you're not even cold anymore. And I ride in 20 degree weather. So once that third wheel is in, that's it. You, you, you got your heater on, you know? Man, listen, people had a problem with Jesus. I can't explain to you why people got a problem with us doing what, this is, listen, this first thing first and foremost, right? We're in America, right? The land of what? Opportunity, happiness, right? What's, what's how you, you know, you know the saying? Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So, my pursuit of happiness is the bike, and you're gonna tell me that I shouldn't be doing that? I shouldn't be pursuing my happiness? How you gonna hate on that? See, people want it both ways. You wanna say, this is the freest country on the planet, and we should be able to 
have freedom of speech and freedom of expression, freedom of, you know, everything else that they give a freedom for. I mean, dogs got freedom. You see dogs walk around hanging out. So you gonna tell me it's a problem because we riding the bikes? Yo, we already asked them for a place. So now you look at, it's almost like you look in the window and you hungry, right? You go to the supermarket, right? You starving. And you out there begging, hey man, you know, let me get a little, get one of them little, um, little slices of bread and all that stuff. And you looking in the window, you see all this food and the motherfucker telling you can't eat. Now how long before you say fuck this shit? and bust the window open and go get a little slice of bread or some shit, take a little sandwich. How long are you gonna wait to do that? And that's not even saying that that's only with bikes. That's with even a dog. Starve a dog if you want, and then come with a plate of food. How the dog gonna act? <sighs> Out your hand, you feel me? So that's all we saying. Why y'all have a problem with us doing this shit the right way? And we came to y'all and said, look, help us do it the right way. And y'all said no. So right now we're just making sure everyone's staying hydrated. Can't have anybody passing out of safety stunts. The business, safety stunts, is teaching people how to wheelie. You know, I've always thought, one day I was in the lot and somebody had a wheelie machine and I hopped on it and I was like, wow, like, he started asking me questions. Well, what is shift locking? And how do people stay in second gear and still take their hand off without feeling like they're gonna fall off? And I found myself just kind of getting on the machine and teaching him. And then after that, I was like, wow, I should make something out of that. Like, I really just taught him how to wheelie and shift lock and no hand in five minutes. Good things that happens in bike life is safety stunts. Things like that. When people come and make a better atmosphere for bike life and make it be able to become fun again and make you realize why you bought a bike in the first place, I think that's what really people want to see and people want to feel out of it. It's an amazing feeling. It really does. It makes you feel free. There's nothing like being on your bike and just getting away from life for a little while. Uh, I feel like it's something that can take you out of a bad place and I think it's something that could put you in a really good place. I think I wouldn't be the person that I am without bike life, to be honest. Thank God we have this big parking lot because I've definitely seen some shit so far. <laughs> Once it starts being dangerous, I did have somebody in the parking lot with a street bike on the machine and it was just a little too fast for everything. So, and it was a Saturday, they did tell me to leave. Like I said, it's not promised. We could get kicked out. That's why we need somewhere where it's actually legal to do something like this. And that might be my next step. So the three things you really need to learn about wheeling is popping a clutch. If you got your clutch work, you got everything. Throttle control. You have to know to hold your throttle in a certain position throughout your wheelie, otherwise you either kind of come out of it or you're gonna give it too much and come back out of it. And that goes along with the brake. You need to know your brake. Your brake is your best friend. Three things that are major in wheelies. Clutching, throttle control, and your brake. I uh, really, really focus on like uh, the lot. Go to the lot, take 10, 15 minutes each day. I did not know how to wheelie at all. And each day progression, all those uh, parking lines you see, if you go past one more and one more each day, you'll get better. But the lot, a lot of gear, because you want to get up after you fall. That, that's a big issue. A lot of these guys don't wear like full face. They eat shit and you know, they, they scratch up their pretty face, but I'm not, a, I'm not the guy to tell anyone to put on a helmet. I let them rock the way it is, but if you're learning, I would recommend a full face, some full gear, nice gloves, and the, you know, a little bit of balls. <laughs> <laughs>
bitch, I'm a threat. Oh, yeah. Really, y'all don't know this, y'all in danger, I'm a threat. I'm a threat. Yeah, with your life, cause you know that it's a threat. It's a threat. You know I ain't letting up, my foot is on your neck. Yeah. Take my word for it, this is a promise and a threat. Ooh. Really, y'all don't know this, y'all in danger, I'm a threat. Flow so sick, it's hazardous Y'all still suck like Dracula Sip this beat, let's pack it up And I don't care about tricks Cause they talk too much And I know that I gotta keep on grinding Finding 